The irresistible force is here. Ready to squash. The following contest is a handicap match. Making her way to the ring from San Diego, California, Nia Jax. There is no one else quite like Nia Jax. The only competitor to be in the men and women's rumble on the same night. It is absolutely impossible to plan against an opponent the size of Nia Jax. Nia Jax looks to be in a bad mood, and I'm pretty sure she's going to take it out on her opponent. Class is in session. I'm taking notes. And their opponents first. From Palanca, Florida, Michelle McCool. The first ever Divas Champion in WWE history. Driven by faith, heart, and soul with a mean streak even longer than her legs. Yeah, Michelle McCool is used to standing tall in more ways than one. Michelle McCool told me that she's surrounded by a division that's jealous of her success and leadership. That's some real talk right there. More like real egotistical and delusional. Here comes Eve Torres and from Denver, Colorado. Eve Torres. Eve is a natural-born competitor who possesses crazy athleticism and an amazing in-ring. Eve Torres, an expert at finding weakness and exploiting it. A woman who turned her back on the WWE Universe and never looked back. It was the best decision she ever made. Laying people out with a smile and a pose. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, and you can see handicap rules are in effect here tonight. As we get this battle underway, we have Nia Jax. And this handicap match will be underway with Michelle McCool and Eve Torres. The odds firmly stacked on one side of this deck here. I'm curious to see how it plays out as this match progresses. Oh, look at a torch of their opponent. Oh, this isn't going to be good. a tremendous amount of physical fortitude to succeed in an Iron Man match, but I assume it takes more than that. Well, you're absolutely right in that assumption, Cole. It takes a lot of heart and desire to be victorious here, so just because you might be down a point or the clock is closing in, that doesn't mean you can or should give up. Remember that. Hoisting up their opponent before a backbreaker, but there's more work to be done. A second one. Completely. Her shoulders are down. She powers out immediately there. Anyone who thought this would be over quick has another thing coming. Pulled back into the hip toss. Jax cannot be overpowered. Oh, sent flying. I have no way to explain the power we just witnessed. Forget about any size difference. Catches an uppercut. Uncorks an uppercut. Into the cover. Barely kicks out. She is still fighting. Still keeping this going. And Michelle is really playing it up for the WWE Universe. Oh, look at that. Embracing her adoring public. Uh-oh. Out and scouted. <laughs> oh, 
She's fighting back. Oh, oh no. Looking for the final exclamation. And she saw that coming from Jax. The only thing keeping her upright. Oh, my Lord! Nia Jax brushes that one off. Oh, yeah, she is really getting fired up. Double team action. Oh, the flawless execution. Up to the top rope now. Soaring. Oh, God, that, that, that's a bad landing. An absolutely terrible landing ringside. Thrown out of ringside and back to the mat. out for that burst of energy. Like a brick wall running into you. Not in the hard way. Oh, God. Counters this. Could be an opportunity. Cool, begging her opponent to get up, gonna help her up and setting her up for the safe breaker. But Cool has her on Dream Street. Cover. There's two and a kick out. No one saw that coming. Amazing kick out. You cannot help but be impressed by Nia Jax's fortitude here tonight. And that result leaves everyone shocked. But will the shoulder come up if that move hits one more time? intensity how are they not entirely drained by now pure adrenaline's got to be taken over it's the only explanation saw that coming each competitor showing they've done their homework wow what a leg sweep take it out the knee oh man that'll destroy your ligaments kick to the body running start and a oh, neck breaker a rare spot of trouble for Nia. And I don't see McCool slowing down anytime soon. Eve going up. Look out! Wow, look at that agility. And that took Nia down. Cover! And she picks up a fall early in the match. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extends her elbow. Oh, and she turns it around. There's electricity running through this arena right now. Will it be the spark for one of these competitors? Tag made. And gets tossed back into the mat. Off the ropes. Uh-oh. Off the attack with an elbow. Placed in the corner. Soul to the stomach. Boot to the stomach. Boom. Kick to the face. 
for your troubles. Didn't go to plan for Jax. Oh, what an uppercut. First quarter of this marathon of a match behind us now. Advantage and hit. Oh, wait a second. Maybe not. Roll up. Kick out just before two. She is not done yet. Michelle McCool begging her opponent to get up, going to help her up, and setting her up for the fail breaker. McCool could end it there. Cover. Two count. Now she scores the early fall. <laughs> Michelle McCool muscling up her opponent, locking the arms. Michelle McCool looking highly motivated right now. Real. She's going for it. She doesn't even get a count of one. Where is she finding the strength? This is unreal. And back elbow creates separation. Pulled back into the hip toss. And this has quickly become a match to be remembered. A classic in the making. How in the world is it going to end? Oh, sure, I'm Larry. What a sidewalk slam. Cover! She still fights out in one. Incredible to think, after everything we've witnessed, we are still at a stalemate. Yes, tag! Yeah. Oh, oh, man. Oh. She's up on that top turnbuckle. She won't be for long. Nia Jax with her opponent seated on the top rope, and Corey, she's headed up to join them. This is the beginning of the end. Check out the power of the irresistible force. Yeah. Jacks with a Samoan drop. Cover. Maybe not. The breakup. Torres is out of it. Completely in peril. <laughs> Muscled all the way up and down. And now it's all Nia. Two. She gets a fall. Ooh, what a forearm club. Tori surprises her. And she's in off the tag. Look at this. Oh, from the rope. <laughs> Kick to the body. Running start and a quick screw neck breaker. Look at this, here we go, got Dragon Sleeper locked in tight. The pressure is on. I think she's about to earn a fall in this Iron Man match. I, I agree, think this is over. Now, that's a really weird position to be in, but man, she's flexible there. Respectful, and she gets herself out of a precarious position. Launching. She certainly took a chance there. High risk with no reward. Brilliant 
countering by both competitors. Looking for the sidewalk slam. And Nia is revving this crowd up. Arm drag. Turning the tables. Pulled back into the hip toss. A oh, leg lock. Look at this display of power by McCool stepping through. Faith breaker. But is that enough for Michelle? Is it enough? The cover. Two count. She gets the ball. in a second to stay alive there. Single leg drop kick. Uh. Ooh, point of the elbow counters out. Scoop slam. She had it scouted. Oh, God. Gets the tag. Taking a page out of the Michael Cole playbook. The twerk into the moonsault. Love it. Two. And she got one. This looks interesting. And that was an efficient display of offense with that maneuver. The admiration for these superstars is echoing throughout this arena right now. Cracked around into a neck breaker. She's going to try it again. She certainly took a chance there. High risk with no reward. These superstars still keeping their stamina in check as the mid marker has been crossed. I don't know how anyone can begin to formulate a plan to get back in this match when they're down so big already. Jax using her cranium as a weapon, repositioning her opponent. And oh boy, I think we know what's about to happen. Nia Jax from the middle of the annihilator. Jax just turned the lights out. Coming to the rescue. Got to be the one. The cover. With that, she scores the fall. This looks interesting. Producing a trampoline. She can't take much more of this. This is getting hard to watch, guys. We might need to stop this one. Rapid fire Samoan drop. And she makes it to her partner. Tag. Close line. Ooh, what a forearm club. around there. Look at this. Here we go, guys. Dragon Sleeper locked in tight. Uh-oh, she needs to hang on. If she taps out, she will be down a fall. That is an up. Oh, that's a really weird position to be in, but, man, she's flexible there. Elbow 
throw, saying not today. Kick to the body, running start on a oh, corkscrew neckbreaker. Big time move coming up. Uh oh, up to the second row. Nasty arm drag. We got a cover. Late in the match, and she has scored. Oh, she doesn't want none. He'll get in there and fight. the legs kick to the body she's about to rise up to something catastrophic blast off big mistake there Corey because she knows that now to the corner. This can't be good. Power from the suplex. Carefully measured knee drop. Some attitude. 
Oh my goodness, dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. And things looking dire for Eve. The last thing you want at this juncture is to be demolished by the wrecking ball that is Nia Jax. Three quarters of this Ironman match now in the book as the fight continues. I know the scoreboard looks ugly, but nothing is settled until the final bell rings. What now? Belly stop! Oh. <laughs> Nia Jax using the cranium as a weapon. Repositioning her opponent, and oh boy, I think we know what's about to happen. Nia Jax from the middle rope, annihilator. Jax on the verge here. Is it enough? The cover. <laughs> oh, that'll rattle you. Ooh, she hit the corner hard. Oh, that knee will take the win right out of you. Oh, look at this. So ruthless. she can absorb. Uh, her body can only take so much before we see a full collapse. That's disrespectful. Damn. Oh dear, this is disrespectful. This is just gross. Stop it. McCool is reeling to her feet. I think we're about to see it. Muscles them all the way up. All the way down. Power bomb. I don't care who you are. You can't survive any more of those. McCool turns that around. Boom. What an uppercut. See here. Oh, neck breaker. Ooh, stinging kick. She throws her back in. No, oh, flesh on flesh. Nothing pretty about it. Cool, just powering her opponent up in the position in a fake breaker. The cool has her on Dream Street. Two, and she gets a fall. Ah, uh, takedown, and now punches right. Oh my God. Michelle McCool begging her opponent to get up, gonna help her up, and setting her up for the safe breaker. Going to the well again. Will it produce dividends? Is it enough? The cover! She sneaks a ball there. Tagging her partner in. Boom! Impact! Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. And Eve still managing to rally some offense. Jax isn't used to this kind of punishment, and it's showing. And now the road is no longer a long one. We're in the final stretch. Considering the clock and the score differential, I think we know where this one is headed. And the crew finds herself behind again. Yeah, Nia has a plan, and she's on the verge of executing it. Lift in the hard way.
Looking for the sidewalk slam. <laughs> Michelle timed that just right. Face fell off the barricade. Oh, right to the side of the face. McCool thinking she can close this one out. <laughs> Michelle McCool muscling up her opponent. Locking the odds. Fake breaker. McCool could end it there. And Michelle McCool is firing up the crowd here. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. <laughs> she avoids the attack completely. Nice. Can she do it here? With that, she picks up a fall late in the match. And Nia is revving this crowd up. Spare now. <laughs> Big right hand. Overhand connects. A leg lock. This their opponent's uh, legs. Uh, oh. is That's what makes a handicap match one of the most unpredictable in WWE. Here are your winners, the team of Michelle McCool and Eve Torres. And a stunning ending to this Iron Man match. It takes a lot of stamina to outlast the opposition in a match like this. With a win like that, you have to stand back for a moment and realize all your hard work paid off.